gun violence continues to be a major issue within the city. These guns will not kill New Yorkers. Police have taken them off the streets. But police say these four men have blood on their hands, trafficking guns from South Carolina and Virginia to Brownsville. And after getting a tip about the ringleader, Montoon Hart, the Brooklyn DA and the NYPD sent in undercover officers to work the case. We've been working to identify, apprehend, and charge those who are responsible. Vernell Douglas, an MTA worker, is one of the men busted after a year-long investigation called Operation Lonely Hearts Club. Investigators say Douglas was heavily involved, allegedly driving down south to purchase guns and selling them on the streets here in the city, even making deals as he was getting back to work in the middle of the pandemic, sending this text message wearing his MTA uniform, saying, back at it. Shockingly, one of those men had a really good job, a trusted job, a sacred job. He was an MTA subway conductor. At one point, police say while speaking to his supplier down south, Douglas talked about the shooting death of one-year-old Devell Gardner. He was killed by a stray bullet in July. Telling me to the left and right behind a one-year-old baby. Shot a one-year-old baby in the stomach. They ain't know it was a one-year-old baby in the park. Been crazy since then. The wiretap continues with Douglas asking the supplier to get him smaller guns. After hearing about the investigation involving a city employee, community advocate Tony Herbert had this to say. To turn around and be a part of what's helping to kill our city, you need to go to jail. In total, two undercover officers purchased 44 guns from Hart. PIX11 has learned Hart confessed and was charged in the killing of Taft High School teacher Jonathan Levine back in 1996. But Hart was later acquitted. And police say Hart has been selling guns for years, so their investigation is far from over. They're still looking for more suspects. In the meantime, as for Douglas, the MTA worker, well, he posted bail, and the MTA said in a statement he's no longer in active service with that agency until further notice. For now, we're live in downtown Brooklyn. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.